<laughs> so I have a problem with uh, little, like the direction technology is headed. Uh, like Facebook is like fucking up all the players. Just, like, you, yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I had a friend who was obviously not a vocal player because he didn't pass the uh, pimp challenge. Um, <laughs> um, he was messaging a, a girl who didn't know how to didn't know that he could get personal messages, so she's writing on his wall. Well, he has a girlfriend. Like, what time do you want me to be there tonight? <laughs> so his girlfriend, who he lives with, shows up. She's like, so, um, who's Sarah from Facebook? He's like, uh, you know, I don't know what you're talking about. You know, he's got a guy on my Facebook and all that. And she's like, oh, I didn't think so. I was on the wrong page. Wait, hold on. Ex excuse me, can you come over here, please? Oh. And yeah, she brought the girl to the house. <laughs> it's like, uh, man, this is horrible. And I had a similar experience. Because, uh, like, I, I think smartphones are too smart. Mm -hmm. um, one problem is, like, I used, like, I miss, like, texting somebody, like, in my pocket. Like, I just knew where all like, the keys were. Uh. It was like, it was like, hey, what's up? That's that. So that's one, one problem. And one other problem that I, I have is uh, whenever I get an email or text with a picture attached, my phone auto automatically downloads the picture and saves it to my file. <laughs> and that got me in trouble. Uh, so uh, I got a spam email and I was stupid enough to open it. And if I see an attachment there, I just like, I just have to know what it is, so I clicked it, and this naked girl pops up. And, like, clearly she didn't take it herself because her hands were doing something else. <laughs> and so, uh, <laughs> I didn't know that my phone downloaded pictures at this time. And so I was like, okay, whatever, delete. And I went about my day, uh, and then it just so happened the next day, my girlfriend went through my phone. Uh, oh. My ex girlfriend now. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I woke up the next day, and that picture was my screensaver. And I was like, Shh, I didn't get drunk last night. Like, how did this happen? So I uh, <laughs> go through it. And the uh, worst way to start off an explanation is by saying, I can explain this. <laughs> uh, I found out afterwards. So. Uh, the worst part about all of this is that it was on Valentine's Day when the picture downloaded. <laughs> so, yeah, now a bachelor. And, uh, like, back to dating, I've been out of the game for like three years though, so it's like kind of awkward getting back into it. Um, and I forgot how to ask a, a girl out. Like, I just, like, it would just be weird just going up to some random girl who's never seen you before, so she'd probably freak out if she saw me, and just saying, hey, give me your phone number. <laughs> <laughs> and last night, I ended up in a Whole Foods place, and I was like about to go up to this, this girl, and I'm like, you look like you eat organic. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> lucky enough to get the phone number and it gets even more awkward like from there on because then like you gotta text her and there's so much pressure to keep the conversation interesting. It's like okay like what can I say that will keep her interest? You know just like over here, I'm over here, you know. So like I just text her shiny pictures. It's like yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. One other thing is that that's awkward is uh, if you ask her to be your girlfriend over text, especially if she's sitting like three feet next to you. Uh, I found that one out the hard way. Uh, it's like, hey, do you want to be my GF? She's like, oh my god, no. What? I <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you got that mixed up. I meant good friend. 
True story about the private. <laughs> um, but uh, I guess the first kiss feeling, you know, like that feeling that you had, it was like awesome. Or like fireworks almost went off. Um, and I was talking to somebody at a party, just like how to get that. They're like, you know, you just go for it. You just, uh, you know, you just have to go for it. And, uh, sorry, I have allergies. Um, I'm like a guy who's all about vibes. Like, if the vibe is right, the food is set, like, I'll, I'll go for it. You know, so I'm like trying to look, like, okay, is she conscious? Is she drunk yet? <laughs> Wait five more minutes. You want some more shots? Uh, one thing that is kind of bad is, uh, Girls stop hitting on me. Like when I was in a relationship, like mm -hmm. I'd always have girls come after me. Like I could be just walking around by myself and girls would come up to me and like, no, take it. <laughs> and now, nothing. I have a bag over my head or something. And it's like, could they smell it on me? I don't know. I was thinking like they should make this a fragrance. Like try a new relationship for me. <laughs> <laughs> I would sell, right? Uh, um, <laughs> but uh, if you're ever fortunate enough to uh, get past the first date and everything, uh, on to the next step is uh, sex. And uh, <laughs> I have a problem. Who invented the bra strap? That's what I have a problem with. What? Like, there's been so much wood that has been lost over that damn thing. <laughs> right? like, hold on, hold on, you know. Like, she, she always wants you to do it for her. It's like, just do it yourself. Let's get down to it. She's like, no, yeah. no, no. Just <laughs> take it off for me. It's like, all right. Um, uh, I don't know. Oh, it opens from the front. Okay. All right. <laughs> and then condoms are just as bad. Um, I always put mine on, like, inside out. <laughs> And I'm like, why isn't it working? And then she's like, oh my god, it's, it's been tainted. We can't use that one. So I, I go through about like two boxes of problems for like one time. Uh, 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 another one. Another one. She's like, you're getting the pill tomorrow? I'm like, nope. <laughs> but uh, if you ever do get that, that condom on and you're going, uh, try to avoid the, the pillow talk. Like, I, I hate it. Like, I just don't like being lied to you. <laughs> uh, but uh one interesting thing um like i didn't like i thought like women were just women like you know like they were pretty much on like an even spectrum i was completely wrong uh i dated a puerto rican girl I love black women. <laughs> shout out and uh, <laughs> i was a uh, a mistake because like Puerto Rican women are like Mexican women mixed with black women to like the 10th power when it comes to jealousy. And we were on like our, our fourth date, right? And she's like, Are you fucking anybody? It's like, uh, we only had sex once. Like, why are you even questioning me? And I'm like, No, she's like, Okay, well, after we're done here, we'll go outside. I'll smell your dick. Like, yeah, like, okay, well, you can kiss it after two first. Right? <laughs> yeah, and her whole thing was if it smells clean or like pussy, you're in trouble. What? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, right, like, like, you just want that, like, like, that, that must feeling? Like, I guess she gets off on like sweaty ball sex. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, <laughs> <laughs> I deleted it. <laughs> it's like, duh, she, she just creeped me out. And, uh, yeah, and my thing is, like, I, I take, like, five or six showers every day. Uh, my mom told me that I have OCD, but she's not a fucking doctor, so. <laughs> um, and, uh, I, I don't know. And all of my best, like, comedic ideas come to me in the shower. Like, if I get a good thing, I'm like, okay, this is nice. I stop what I'm doing, I, I hop in the shower and I just let it play out. There's a perfect example. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Uh, my water bill will thank you later or something. I don't know. Anyway, uh, and then after 
chapter six, uh, I came up across this little predicament: is uh, kicking the girl out. <laughs> There's no nice way to say like, "Get the fuck out of my place," right? And like me, I like cuddling, so she stays the night, and I gotta get to work at like six thirty in the morning, and I don't trust this random girl to lock my place up, and she's gonna leave with my key, so that's a, a no go. So you know, like I'm just like, uh, like I'm sitting there and. Just like, hey, hey, yeah, you gotta go. <laughs> That's as smooth as you can get, right? <laughs> and um, before that ever happens, like, make do a little, uh, like, just like a quick walkthrough, just to make sure that you gather all of her, her things, so that she doesn't do like the whole, oh my god, I forgot this. Let me come back. You know what I'm talking about. Exactly. What you're talking yeah. About. You have no idea how much he knows your guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, just do like a, a quick walkthrough. So, like, if she calls you on her way out and is like, "Oh my God, I just forgot my contact case." It's like, nope. It's in your back pocket. It's in your your socks and your chapstick is rolled up right next to it. You're good to go. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, like that. Like the alternative is like she she leaves something. Goes by, picks it up, leaves, and then she she leaves something else. Next thing you know, she's been there six months and she has her own drawer. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, like the equivalent of that to me would be like she she has her own food cabinet, right? And like what's even worse is like if we share the, the same food, like I've like gone over to eat her for stuff like that's just like, get the fuck out. But uh, that's all I got for tonight. Uh, have a good night. Tomorrow, peace.